to Real Girl Talk. I am your host, Sherry Ricard. I empower women to stand in their purpose, to succeed despite the odds stacked against them, and to live their life knowing they're enough and worthy. Join me each week for powerful messages and interviews that will inspire you to create the life that you want. Now let's go. Welcome back to Real Girl Talk. I am your host, Sherry Ricard, and I am fired up to have a special guest with me today. Kelly Roach is on the show. Welcome, Kelly. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Yes, I am excited. Thank you. So Kelly is a former NFL Eagle cheerleader. Yes, Saints fans, we won't hold that against her. She comes from a Fortune 500 company and now is a successful entrepreneur. She is an author, a business strategist. She helps women build six and seven figure online businesses. She is a regular on ABC, NBC, CW, and Fox, co-founder of Give Her Courage, and host of her own podcast show, Unstoppable Success Radio. Kelly, you are productive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I have a really good team, so but yes. I would not be able to do that if I didn't have a great team. I just got winded reading that bio. So, and you know, and I've I'm, I'm excluded the word busy. I have to keep reminding myself I'm not going to use the word busy anymore. I'm going to replace that with the word productive. So you are very productive, and I want to jump right in here because a lot of my listeners or women, and I want to say that they're between the ages of 40 and 50, but the new stats show that I have about 25% of women listening now to my show that are in their late 20s and 30s. So oh, I am excited. Okay. We are yeah. well-rounded in the age group here. Yes. So I want to jump in. I want you to tell us um, how you jumped and you made that leap from the corporate world into entrepreneurship. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for me, I really gave like my whole heart and soul in corporate America and I moved up really, really quickly and that was great. And I learned so much and, you know, I got to the point where I had 17 locations. I had a team of a hundred and that was great, but I was on planes and trains and I was not taking care of myself and, you know, I had no time for friends or family and I just, I sacrificed so, so much. And when I looked at what I wanted my life to look like, I was like, I don't, this doesn't end well. Right. Yeah, like it just right. didn't add up. And so, you know, I looked at, I kind of scanned my, my landscape and my life and I said, you know, okay, what, what am I really good at? What, what is my top skill? And you know, my number one skill is business growth strategy. Like I am exceptional at helping figure out the fastest way to get a business to skyrocket. And that's why I kept getting promoted and promoted. But the other piece of that is that I really do care about people and I love making people successful. And that, you know, I said, you said you're a productive person. I said, well, that's because I have a, a great team. And the same right. thing was in the fun. I love teaching people how to elevate and grow and have confidence in themselves and believe in themselves and stretch their potential. And so to me, I was like, how do I bring these two things together and make the life that I really want using the skills that I have? And I said, you know, business owners, like small business owners need to learn sales. They need to learn marketing. You know, they need the skill that I have, but I can do it on my own terms. That's and true. so in 2012, I was like, you know, this is it. I'm, I'm going to go do this. And, you know, started off just coaching clients one-to-one. -one. And I started, you know, working with clients virtually around the country. And then from there, it went from one-to-one -to, -one to group programs, to VIP days, to speaking, to courses and masterminds. And um, it's just, it's been great. It's been awesome. And, you know, obviously with entrepreneurship, you know, I mean, it's- oh yeah. It's high, high, low, low, high, high, low, low. Um, but I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change a thing. Now, when you know you're you're an entrepreneur, but you you were in the corporate world, and I see how you made that transition. But for someone that's listening, that may not be in the corporate world, she may just have just a regular job. I wouldn't even call it a career, but she wants to take that leap into the business world. What would be? What would you say to her? What do you say to that woman? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just start from where you are. I think sometimes the reason why we don't get started is we get so overwhelmed at 
the mountain in front of us and we think we have to tackle the whole thing all at once. I think the big thing is start from where you are, whether you want to use your lunch break as a time that you're going to say, my lunch break is going to dedicate to me moving forward with something that's just for me so I can accomplish my goals and dreams. So you might start a side business just on your lunch break. For me, you know, when I was in, in corporate America and I decided I wanted to start my business before I made the transition, like literally I would be making sales calls out in my car on my lunch break. I would be working before work, after work. You know, I think starting from where you are, looking at what am I passionate about? Right. What am I really good at? What would I love to do for the rest of my life that I'm so passionate about that people already probably come to you for that thing anyway? Right. And how do you now turn that into something that you can get paid to do, that you can get paid to bring to the world, right? That's, that's excellent. I love that. And when, when someone's looking for a business coach, what should we look for? You know, there's so many uh, business coaches uh -huh. out there right now. So what do we look for to know that we're a right fit for our coach? Yeah. And vice versa. There's some really bad stuff going on right now. Yes. Um, I would say, number one, I would look for a business coach that has legitimate business experience. Now, that might sound funny to say, but the vast majority don't. Many business coaches have started an online course and they sell a course. Right. And a course is not the same as a business, right? So right. business has infrastructure, people systems, departments, lots of moving pieces. There's so much, you know, maturity and learning. You know, for me, I had over a decade of, you know, Fortune 500 experience as a business leader before I started my business. And even I hired a business coach the second that I started my business. But you better believe I hired a business coach that had run a legitimate business, not someone that was selling an online course. And I'm not saying that there's something wrong with courses. What I'm saying is, is if you're looking for a business coach, look for someone that has actually managed a team, a company, systems, moving pieces, and has done it in more than one like right. stream of income or capacity. Because I think that, you know, there's, there's some scary advice going on out there. And yeah. there's also a lot of people that have had success with one tactic that have built a business around one tactic right. and probably become a business coach. So the problem with that is, as we all know, tactics change constantly, right? right? If you look at the tactics that we're using today, I mean, the number one tactic that's going on in business right now is stories and live streaming. Yes. Stories and live streaming didn't even exist a couple of years ago. Right. You don't want to hire a business coach that has picked one tactic and built their entire business around it because when that tactic changes, what are you going to learn from that business coach? Right. right? Well, what, what do they know things? to teach? What, what do they I actually know say, to teach after that? Ask questions. Take time with the decision. Um, look, at, look at the decision from the standpoint of like, you're, you're putting your destiny in this person's hands you know, have they done what you want to do in the way that you want to do it? I think those right. are some important questions to ask yourself. I love that. And in your book, Unstoppable, can we get advice as well from business oh my strategies gosh. and starting? So much, so much. So I always say I did it one way, the wrong way. And then I did it a second time, the right way. So I did the fortune 500 thing. Um, <laughs> I did the fortune 500 thing you know, and, and that got me one result. And that's where I learned my business expertise. So I have no, I have nothing bad to say about that because I would never be where I am today without that. But that wasn't the lifestyle that I wanted to develop and that wasn't the path, right? But then when I started my own business, I was so intentional because of what I had learned that I didn't want from that, that I made sure I built that into my own business. And the nine principles that are in the Unstoppable book really do give you a shortcut of like, listen, don't do this, do this instead, you know, avoid this pitfall, focus on this. It's really like giving you those big leaps without having to make all the mistakes yourself the hard way. Now you have something that's going on right now, the profit, is it Profits Lab? Profit Lab. Uh -huh. Profit Lab. Tell us a little bit about Profit Lab. And is it too late to jump on board? Yeah. Well, we do do the Profit Lab about once a quarter. Okay. So even if you miss the one that we're doing right now, absolutely still get in the group. So you can get in the Facebook group. It's called Tribe of Unstoppables. And basically, we are teaching what I like to call the live launch method. 
And it is the simplest, fastest, easiest way to sell one to many online using live streaming. So it's, it replaces needing a huge team, a ton of technology and massive ad spend to launch your products and programs. And, and to me, having done all of the other methods, we've done the webinars, we've done the PLF, we've done the video sequences and the emails. Right. Not only does this get far better results, but it's way less stressful, it's way less time consuming, and it's way less expensive. And so I'm really passionate about bringing this to the entrepreneur community because there really is a better way. There really and is there, is there something that you suggest, or maybe you teach this with, with your team, is there a way for someone that is in business and they want to, the Facebook ads alone, trying to understand all the targets and trying to create an ad set. And I know my son's 18 and he's excellent at this. And if it wasn't for him, I would never have an ad because I still don't understand it. So do you have something where we can get involved, where we learn how to do online courses, learn how to do our ads, everything that encompasses an online business? Yes, yes. So my Unstoppable Entrepreneur Program is literally a 12-month incubator that includes trainings on everything that you need to become successful online, utilizing social media, live streaming, podcasting, webinars, the live launch method, using Facebook challenges, all of that. And it, it really is to me, having been a consumer in this space, because I invest heavily in coaching for my team members. I've done a ton of the programs that are on the market myself. I'm always learning and growing too. Um, it's best in class. And it really fills a lot of the gaps that are holes, huge holes that are going on in the market right now, specifically in, in, in the, the, space of accountability. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of what's happening right now is, you know, people get cattle herded through these programs. There's thousands of people going through. No mm -hmm. one knows your name. They have all these coaches that are your business coach that they don't, they're an employee. They're not a coach. They don't know what they're doing. And so we've kind of flipped that completely on its head. I am the coach. I am live with every person in the program every week, but I have a team of accountability coaches that are the high touch points that are in touch with our clients every single day in the program. They have scheduled sessions with them to make sure that when life happens, because it does, right. that instead of what happens in all these other programs is like life happens, you get taken off course and there's no one there saying, hey, come back over here. Let's get you back up and running again. Let's put together a plan to get you back on track. Let's help you figure out where you left off and where we need to pick back up again and get things moving. You know, it's making sure that when that stuff comes up, yes, you might get knocked off track for a couple of days because you have something with family that you need to deal with or something going on in your business or whatever, but we're there to help you get back on track and keep moving forward. And that was the number one gap that we saw in the industry that no one else was providing. So we're really, really focused on that. And and the feedback from our clients has just been astounding in terms of the difference that it's made for them. That's wonderful. Now, what would you, what can you share with us as far as giving us a few tips to the listeners, your average listener that wants to start an online business, or maybe she already has started an online business. She can't afford a business coach because maybe this is her side hustle. What are the tips or just a few principles that you can give her Basically, where can she start and expect to have success if she can't afford a team and a coach and all of these things that we talk about? Yeah, definitely. Well, first of all, get the Unstoppable book because I give so much there. Like even I make my own clients read the book because it has so much in it. Um, that's number one. But number two, just connecting with people. Like to be honest, there is so much over-reliance on technology and over-reliance on automation right now. And people are losing their shorts over. They're losing so much money because they don't get on the phone anymore. They don't have conversations with prospects. They don't send private messages, a text message. You know, So I would say start using social media to become visible. Use mm -hmm. live streaming, use stories, get in front of the microphone, get in front of the camera, but don't be afraid to just talk to humans. And it really can be that simple. If you're just getting started and you want to get that first handful of five or 10 clients that are, you know, steady clients that are paying you well, you can do that with a very small, small following just by showing up on social media, making content, serving people, going, following people that are engagers, high engagers on content that is 
relevant that you know if this is relevant to them, what you're doing is relevant to them as well. Right. And bringing them back over to you. And I think it's just rolling up your sleeves and like kind of getting down in it with people versus having these like eight layers of technology between you and the people that want and need what you're offering. And I think that scares a lot of women away too. And not just, just women, but men as well. I mostly have women listen into my show is that we, a lot of us don't want to get into the techie or we don't understand the techie or we don't have the time for the techie. And like I was telling you before the show, I just launched a writer's roadmap to show anyone how to write a book mm -hmm. and not just write the book, but write it for free and write it successfully. I was burned by a publisher and yeah. not everyone is going to be burned by a publisher. And I'm kind of glad that I was because I was able to teach myself. But a Absolutely. lot of, women, a lot of yes. women don't want to stay up till two in the morning teaching themselves how to do it. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> like I did, you know, so I understand just to be able to connect on social media. I like that tip and reaching out to like-minded women that are in your arena, I guess yeah. we would say, yeah, then absolutely. you can learn from them. Offer to serve. Yes. Offer to serve. You know, what I think is most amazing about this moment in time right now for entrepreneurship that is so, so cool for all of us is that you can sell your services just by showing up and being a good human and being of service. Yes. So get out there and teach what you know, share what you know, and that's how people are going to welcome you into their circle and say, yes, I will put you on my virtual stage in front of my group or on my podcast or on my live stream or whatever. And slowly but surely, people are going to start finding out about you and they're going to convert from those other places to come follow you. And all of a sudden, you're going to have your own following and people are going to be showing up to listen and they are going to be showing up and caring about what it is that you have to offer. That's what I love about you, Kelly, because I, I found you and I can't remember how, because you know how we are on Instagram and social media, but I found you several months ago. And that is one thing that I was, that attracted me to you was that you're always putting out good content and not expecting anything in return, which in turn made me more attractive to what you were talking about. <laughs> Yes. So, so what you're saying is actually true because I realized she's not only is she beautiful, but she's smart and she's talented and I won't hold it against her that she, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, but I, I have learned so much from you just watching what you put out there in free content. Thank so, you. yeah. So I know without a shadow of a doubt that you are unbelievable as a business coach. I know that you've never been my business coach, but I know hundred percent. If you give to us what you do on social media, I can imagine what you give to your clients. You give them that undivided attention and everything that they need because you are helping them grow six and seven figure online businesses. And, and ultimately if we have a business, that's what we're striving for. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. No, and thank you. And, and that is, you know, what you're saying is exactly the point what you're saying is exactly what I'm trying to share with your listeners, which is that you don't have to get up in the morning and say, how do I sell, 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 sell. If you get up in the morning, and you say, how do I serve, serve, serve? Yes. People are going to be magnetized to you. And they're going to be like, I have people tell me every day that join my unstoppable program. They say, I was learning for, from you for free listening to your podcast. That's why I decided to join. Yes. So I think that's really encouraging for new entrepreneurs, especially because you don't have to get out there and do this silly, crazy, ridiculous, you know, marketing tactics, sleazy stuff from the eighties, you know, or right. even from the two thousands, right? Like be authentic, show up, make a difference, add value, and then extend an invitation and people will show up to the party. That's what I would say. Most definitely a hundred percent. I agree with you. And one thing that you do do that I noticed is that you have an organization, Give Her Courage, and you're a co-founder of that organization because it's part of serving. Tell yeah. everybody a little bit about your organization. Yeah, definitely. When I was looking around at the resources that were available to teach girls courage and confidence, which I believe in, my, my whole focus of my business is economic empowerment. Like I want to help people to become financially free. I know that there is a direct linkage between having courage and confidence and pursuing your dreams and getting the results that you want. Right. And when, when my partner Amy and I were looking around, she has a daughter also that's very young, at the resources that were available, there really weren't any. And yeah. we were like, wow, like 
we have all these things we want to teach our daughters and we have all these things that we want to instill in them, but like, where are the resources? Like, where are the books? Where are the audio programs? Where's the support tools? And we started talking to other women, other mothers, and they were like, yeah, like, we don't even know how to talk to our daughters about these things because in the last generation, that wasn't even really a thing. Like those right. conversations weren't really happening. Now we know to have the conversation, but it's like women need the support in having it. So we're all about giving back. 10% of everything that we do goes to charities to help install, you know, uh, give every girl a fair shot. And it's really about developing these fun, teachable tools and resources that are going to help our girls have the courage and confidence to live their highest potential. That's really what it's all about. I love the young generation. And I say the young generation, but these are college girls. And one of my favorite, favorite events to speak is when a university calls me and has me speak to one of their sororities. That is by far my favorite because I speak on confidence and we, we, we talk a little bit about business, but it's a lot about confidence and self-esteem and self-awareness. Um, and I believe all of us, we're all responsible role models as women. If we have daughters, um, we are responsible in teaching the generation that's coming up. So I appreciate, I appreciate that. Kelly. Yeah, that, that's so awesome that you do that because I mean, especially at college age, you know, you, you need it. Everybody needs it. Everybody needs it. We all need someone to instill a vote of confidence in us at and any age. You never so. know. You never know yeah. who has a role model and who doesn't have a role yes. model, right? Yes. That's and so I've, I've met girls that have come up to me after speaking and they come to the book table and, and this one girl, she had tears in her eyes and she said, I lost my mom last year and I have not oh. felt this fulfilled as I have today, listening to you speak. And I lost it. I mean, I seriously lost it right there because I have a daughter. I have a granddaughter and my heart just, and I have a mama and I still have my mom and my heart just went out to her. Here is this young 19 year old yeah. that lost her mom to cancer. And she just told me that she felt like I was a role model for her. And mm -hmm. that is just, it, it made awesome. my year. It completely made my year. I mean, I still stay in touch with her. I yeah. love her. <laughs> it is That's divine awesome. connections, divine connections. Yes. Well, Kelly, I appreciate you so much. I know you have a productive day. I'm not going <laughs> to oh say this. You got to see some of my productive day. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have a productive day. And so I appreciate you coming on. Tell everyone where we can find you and where we can join you online. Yeah, definitely. Well, I would say come join the party in the Tribe of Unstoppables. It is going bonkers over there. It is definitely the most energized entrepreneurial community I've ever seen. And myself and my team are in there answering questions and supporting people every single day. Uh, I do free trainings in the group every single week. So that would be one place. And Unstoppable Success Radio, my, my podcast. I do um, you know audios every single week on how to simplify, how to focus, and how to accelerate the growth in your business. And where can we find you on Instagram? Because you know, that's the number one right yes. now is Instagram. Yes. Yes. Kelly Roach official. Come follow, come hang out. Kelly Roach official. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. I appreciate you again thank for coming you. on the show and, and taking time. And guys, I want to leave you with this. You know, my sign off, keep your encouragement tank full, keep your faith in God and step out of your comfort zone. Try something that you've never tried before. You'll be surprised where it takes you. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you.